Hey YouTube, it's Charlie from Reader to Writer. Today I am sharing my June TBR. I have been trying to remember if I have ever done a TBR on this channel and I don't think I've actually shared my TBR here for a monthly TBR. I do share ones for readathons, but I haven't really shared one for monthly, which is funny because I actually am very systematic in the way that I do my TBRs. I have certain categories that I pick from to make sure that I am making progress towards certain yearly goals and there's certain books that I try and prioritize and then other books that I'm kind of like putting there as an option and and I always have a list for a TBR so I thought I would share it here and let you know what I am planning on reading this month. So I have 36 books on my 2020 TBR, so I have a goal of reading three of those books from that list each month. In June, I am planning on reading The Home for Unwanted Girls, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, and Leia, Princess of Alderaan. I have two read-alouds planned this month since they are shorter, and last month we actually got through three of them. They are the last two in the Spiderwick Chronicles series, The Ironwood Tree and The Wrath of Mulgara. I have read the first book as a child, but I've never read the rest, so it will finish off the series for both myself and my children. If I have extra time at the end of the month after finishing those, I will start reading The Wizard of Oz with my kids. I do not plan on trying to finish that in June, though. My nonfiction read is Purple Cow by Seth Godin. It is a marketing type book. My classic read is 1984. It was supposed to be my second chance reread for the month of May, but I didn't end up finishing it. I only got about two chapters in. I really want to finish it in June. The prompt this month for the rereadathon is a book that made you laugh. I am planning on rereading Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson for this month, and I am really excited for it. I've been anxiously waiting to reread this since rereading Way of Kings in January. My main audiobook this month is A Study in Scarlet. I also own this on my Kindle. I try to keep my unread books to about 15, and between my husband buying a couple of business books and me buying some ebooks to support some authors on Instagram and YouTube, I am currently at 18 unread ebooks. So listening to a book that I also own on ebook will help me get that down to 15 like I want. For series I want to make progress in, I have a few books to choose from. I have been meaning to read the second book in the Fire in the Steel series by Jared Lund. This is a historical series that spans both world wars. I am going to prioritize it this month so I actually get it read. I also want to continue a series I started last month, The Rose Legacy by Jessica Day George. I own the first two in the series so I started the series last month. It's a short middle grade trilogy so I should be able to finish the series pretty easily. It will mark off books I own which I want to read all the books I owned in January by the end of the year. And Jessica Day George is also an author I want to read all of her books. A new release I want to read this month is A Ceiling Made of Eggshells, a middle grade World War II historical fiction by Gail Carson Levine. She is one of my favorite authors, so I am glad I was able to support her by buying her newest release, and I am way excited to read it. Another new release I am reading to support an author I really like on Instagram is The Match by Sarah Adams. It's a rom-com following a girl who has epilepsy. It looks really cute and I've really enjoyed her books in the past, so I'm super excited about it. Another option I've written down is to read Journey to Superhero School by Gracie Dix. This is another one I found through Instagram. It's a middle grade adventure book that has really great reviews and I am really excited for it as well. My goal is to read between 10 and 12 books and I have 14 options to choose from. There are some that I for sure am going to read and others that are just options and I'm expecting them all to be great, so I'm not sure how I'm going to pick which ones to read, and hopefully I don't go over my 12 book limit. What are you planning on reading in June? Is there a book you're especially excited for? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you liked this video and subscribe for lots of bookish and writing content. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in the next one.